All right, YouTube, anybody that knows anything about me who have been watching me for a long time know that I used to be a big intermittent faster. I used to be big on OMAD, big on any other kind of fasting, prolonged fasting, things like that. And I was successful at it. So if you're a faster, those videos are still up. Type in Rapid Type Fitness Fasting. And um, I might link one of them below. Matter of fact, I'm going to link my top 10 misconceptions about weight loss below because it has everything compiled. Um, but... This video right here, y'all read the title, is eating breakfast versus fasting. You know, some people fast later on, some people fast, most people fast until a certain time. They wake up, they fast, they stay fasting because they already been fasting for um, the amount of time since their last meal and since they've been sleeping and all that because you're fasting while you sleep, right? If you're not eating, that's fasting, right? So it's easier to fast for most people and break their fast later on in the day, all right? Um, and different people have different work schedules, school schedules, take that into heat. Um, but eating breakfast versus fasting, which one is better? Um, in my opinion, of course you already know my opinion if you, you know, tie two and two together that I stopped fasting um, a little long while ago, like a year or two ago, maybe two years ago. Um, and I, I had even more success, right? Um, I think I feel like I got more muscle, um, less body fat because I got more energy and the workouts are better. And protein synthesis, all right, is hit during, what, four or five times a day? Um, so the biggest problem is, not even those things, the biggest problem is a lot of people get hungry and they still hold off because they think the fast is what makes you lose the weight. It's not the fast that makes you lose the weight. You know, I get it, autophagy, and I get it, this and that, and the third. I used to fast. I know all that stuff. All right, somebody go hit me with that. I'm like, no, I already know what you're going to say. I was big into this for years before you probably even heard about it. So don't even know. Don't, no, don't, don't do that. But uh, what I'm saying is if you put off your hunger, um, your grilling will kick in. Your hunger hormone will kick in. You will eat more food. You know, a lot of people, they break their fast and they're bent, they bend. They can't stop. They can't stop going to the refrigerator. But they think they're still successful because they still reach their hours of how long they want to fast. No. What was your goal? You always got to remember your goal when you first started working out. Your goal was to lose weight. So what's more important, actually losing weight or actually adhering to this fasting? You know what I'm saying? Actually adhering to this fast. If it's going to make you binge eat later, whether it's the next day, the next week, the next month, if you always find yourself having to start over, you know, I'm not talking about anybody personally because I know a lot of people, all right? I go to the gym. I, I, I know people out and about, people I see every day, and they be trying to um, combat me with these things. And I'm like, dude, I done went that road before successfully so what's the problem if you had it successfully because i have more success i'm not saying you will have more or less success if you change i'm not trying to change you i'm just trying to tell you the difference all right um if you if you know your maintenance calories and you eat slightly below your maintenance calories you will lose weight i was talking to this girl the, um, the other day about how um his lady uh, about how to lose weight without exercising. She was like, I don't want to work out, though. I'm like, you ain't got to work out. You don't. You don't have to work out to lose weight. You do not. Now, it helps if you lose weight. If you have the combination of, you know, cardio, weightlifting, and, and, and um, dieting, yes, you, you good. You good to go. And if you don't want to work out right now, then that's cool. Then you don't. But you can still lose weight. Why? Because your diet is more important when it comes to weight loss than your exercise. Now, exercise is more important for different things, all right? Cardio for your heart, this and that and third. I know what you... I already know all that stuff. Somebody, because people are always trying to... No, don't do that with me, but this video ain't about that. I'm trying to keep it on subject. If we're talking about eating for weight loss, you're... Your food intake is easier to control than your workout. Even if you work out hard, right? If I'm going to burn 500 calories, right? 
So if I'm gonna burn 500 calories, I gotta bust my butt to burn 500 calories. Taking 500 calories from my diet is a lot easier than that. It's still the same 500 calories. See what I'm saying? It's easier to control your diet. But what about when I get hungry? I can't eat that little bit of food all the time. Well, eat volume. Eat in volume. I teach that. Type in Reverend Time Fitness Volume. Bam. That's how you do it. All right? This video ain't about that. This video is about whether fasting is the way or eating breakfast is the way. Is the way. This is to clear up the question for people who have the question. I'm not telling you which way to go. All right? Usually, I eat breakfast. Usually, I train fasted. I'm not going to lie. Um... Because I be trying to get to the gym. I just woke up. It's 2.40. I'm 40 minutes late. I go to the gym about 2 o'clock in the morning. So nobody's there. Um, I talk about that too much. But the reason why is the fact that I can actually get a good workout in without interruptions and distractions and conversations. And people just, oh, we're not going down that route. <laughs> y'all already know. People that watch me, y'all already know what I go with that route. The whole video will switch. So I'm trying to quit doing that, you know. Um, but what I'm saying is, you have more energy. Now, oh, okay, mind you, if I don't ate when I just woke up, did hit the gym, I'd have a full stomach. I don't want to work out on a full stomach. I want to work out, it is better for me, it's more optimal for me to eat and then digest, then work out. You know, but if I have to choose between eating fasted and, I mean, working out fasted or working out with a full stomach, I'm working out fasted, <laughs> straight up. I mean, for real. I don't want to be lugging around because I eat big, all right? Even when I eat little, I eat big. Like I said, volume. Volume means eating things like um, low-calorie foods that you can fill up your plate with. You can fill up a whole big bowl with and still not ha have a high-calorie amount. You know what I'm saying? Uh, high-calorie foods like oils and grease and ranch sauce and, and all kind of and, and, and high calorie sodas and so all that all that adds up. I'm not saying I don't have any of those things, but you gotta count your calories. All right. I just made a video about counting calories. Watch my last video. I'm not gonna keep this long. Um keep it short and sweet. Comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. The reason why I'm gonna keep it short and sweet is I have to go to the gym right now. I'm in the car right now and I'm at the gas station about to get a gallon of water and the gym. Hopefully the gym don't be packed. Alright. Peace.